What's up guys? My name is Ryan, Cuke, Cucumber, whatever you want to call me, and today I'm showing you how to use the Technic Launcher to download and play Pocket Pixels Pixelmon. This is one server of many of Pixelmon, and it is my, my personal favorite. So this is hosted by A Drive, and it has 19, 16 different gems, not 19, it has 16 different gems, all real life gym leaders, different typings in the normal games, it has shiny Pokemon, it has legendary Pokemon, you can fly Pokemon, you can surf with Pokemon, it is fantastic. It is anything you could possibly want. It's the closest thing you're going to get to a Pokemon MMO. If that's what you're after, you're barking up the right tree and settle in because we're going to download Technic Launcher and we're going to get right into this. I'll show you how to set it up. Before we get started, if you would like to see this live or have any questions that you would like me to personally answer, you can find me on Twitch at twitch.tv backslash cucumber91. All my links, social media, everything will be down in the description below. All the links you need will be down in the description below. Technic Launcher where to find the server, how to download Java 64-bit, which is important. And so without further ado, let's get it on. All right, guys, so first things first, what we're going to do is we are going to go to technicpack.net. Now, this is for if you're using the Technic Launcher, which I would highly recommend. It is a very good way to get modded Minecraft into, it's a simplified way of using modded Minecraft, in case you were unaware. Uh, which I'm sure you guys all know what Technic Launcher is, and I'm sure most of you probably use it. Um, but nonetheless, what you're going to want to do is go up here to install this mod pack. It is going to say, okay, so this is how you install the mod pack. You need to download the Technic Launcher and then just install it right on the Technic Launcher. So, I'll show you how to do that. You're going to come to this page. I always right click and then open a new tab when I want to leave this page up in case I need it. Instead of because it's going to immediately take you to that. We all know this. So download. So it's going to bring you to a download the Technic Launcher website or page, I guess. So you're going to scroll all the way down. It'll explain the Technic Launcher a little bit in case you did not know what it was. And then obviously I'm using Windows. I believe Pixelmon really only works really well on Windows. Or you can try it on Mac. I'm not sure if it will go well or not. So you're going to download this. I happen to already have it downloaded. So I'm going to bring it up here. It's going to ask you to run it. You will run. And then it's launching this. It's going to ask you to log into Mojang. So once this is, so once the Technic Launcher is downloaded, you are logged in. You're going to want to go over to Mod Packs. I happen to already have Pixelmon Reforged downloaded. You are going to search right here for Reforged. Mine just happens to be the first one. Yours will more than likely be the third one. It's going to be below these two. So I already have it downloaded. I'm going to delete the pack just to show you how to download it. It is going to just go right down here, nice and easy, install. This is why Technic Launcher is so easy, because the Technic Launcher is really easy for launching your vanilla Minecraft. It's really easy for launching any of your mod packs you have downloaded, and it will carry over. Uh, keep your eye out for another video I will be running very soon, hopefully this week of my favorite mods that I, that I run with this. My shaders, my resource packs, my mods that make my life easier, like JEI, JEI is fantastic. Um, like the Zero's minimap, which is fantastic. And they make your life a million times easier. I would highly recommend a minimap while you're playing this. So we're going to wait for this to finish downloading. And once it's finished downloading, then we are going to be ready to play it. Okay, now that our Pixelmon is downloaded, there's one more thing we need to do on our Technic Launcher to make sure this game is going to run smooth and fast and no crashes, because <laughs> that is the last thing we need is for the game to crash. So first of all, we're going to go up to Launcher Options, and then we're going to head over to Java Settings. Now, you're going to come down here. It should default to 32 if you have 32-bit Java downloaded. If you do have that downloaded and you drop down you do not do not see 64 bit then you need to go and download java 64 bit for your computer download it i will put the put the the link in the description and you can go and check that out just in case you need it if you do have it then you're in luck so you want to click on latest 64 bit 
is what I use. So it will automatically be set at one gig when you come in here. You're going to want to come down to four gigs. That if you have 16 gigs of RAM in your computer, then you are more than capable of running four gigs of RAM on your Minecraft. So that is what you're going to want to set. You're going to set your 64-bit. Make sure it's 64-bit, not 32-bit. 32-bit will not let you run anything faster than one gig. Um, so like I said, if you don't have that yet, head down to the description. Click on the 64-bit Java download link. It'll just take you to the Java web page. And that is something your computer runs off of. So it's nothing to be worried about. And then go download 64-bit, restart your computer, reopen Technic Launcher, and then go and change your memory to four gigs, okay? Now we are set to play. So I'm gonna boot this up. As it's booting, you should see a white page come up. As it should come up here in one second. Okay, so the white page has come up. So you should see up here, it should say 4,096 megabytes. That means you're running four gigs of RAM. So with those four gigs, it will take a little bit to download mainly because I have mods installed. All right, so we're gonna go to multiplayer. So we are going to want to find, it doesn't look like it's here. We're going to want to add server. So we're going to want to go to server address and with server address, we're going to want play.pocketpixels.net. And I have to do click done. And it'll automatically bring it in here wherever it is these are this is, there's a lot of these in here so you're going to want the one that looks like this one so for our sake I'm going to move this one all the way to the top so as we're logging in here we have it here see there are a lot of people hanging out right here I'm not sure why this is so big this is very blown up right now so we're going to want to right click head into I, I play on red so as you can see, the game is working. It is raining its ass off right now. Okay. Why is everything so big? I'm going to need to fix this. <clears throat> Usually it should not look this big, but it is very large right now. And so as you can see, this is our little town. There you go. And there we have it. Nice and easy. So thanks for hanging out with me tonight. Once again, if you would like to, to catch this live and see me playing live, you can find me on Twitch as Cucumber91. And without further ado, have a great night. I will leave you with a quick little view of our village. You're more than welcome to join on Red Server, and we hope to see you there. Thanks.